okay. She's been eyeing you a lot. You didn't tell her anything, did you? Who? Our boss, Lincoln Poop. Ugh. I swear I was good for the ditzy ones. Look, just breathe. She can be a fire-breathing dragon. If you sweat, she'll smell your fear and run you through the ringer. So don't mess up. Got it. Too bad if you don't. Now, go bugger off. And here, it's my worry coin. You can use it for just this once. Just don't get it all sweaty and grimy. Got it? Oh, come in. It's good to see you. I'm glad that you made it another day. So, tell me. How is your trainer treating you? Fairly, I hope. Good. But that's not exactly the reason why I called you into my office today. There were some things that I need to go over with you on. Have a seat. All right. Well, I've been checking your progress the last few days, and quite frankly, I'm very pleased. You've managed to not only excel at what I hired you for, but you've ended up even accomplishing some tasks that would have taken much longer from some of my regular employees here. So, I have to give you where credit's due. Well done on that. Now, just going over your files, though, and your resume that I'm pulling out right now, it says here that you have experience in both areas needed for the job and some extracurricular activities. Would you like to say anything or elaborate on them? Mm-hmm. Why are you so nervous? He didn't tell you anything about me, did he? Ah, <sighs> let me guess. Fire-breathing dragon. Ready to bite your head off? <laughs> the look on your face answers the question for me. No, I'm not here to give you a scathing review, but more of a, how do I like to put my employees, an update to make sure that they're comfortable, make sure that you're doing well, and to see if there's anything that I need to do to help you establish yourself here. So, have you been making any friends on this project? Has everything been going well there? Mm-hmm. Well, although that's not bad, I do have some social expectations for work that I need you to accomplish during the week. We have many foreign and diplomatic things that we have to do between different companies, both abroad and in our own country. And I need to be able to make sure that you'll be able to handle that. Do you think you can do that? Excellent. That's exactly what I want to hear from my new employee. So, what I've ended up doing is reserving a quick lunch date, little brunch, just so we can practice some of our cultural awareness. Oh, no, not in a group setting. It'll just be you. And me. So you don't have to worry about being too self-conscious or anything. I'll be able to help you with all of that. Well, <laughs> I have been monitoring you and your work. And I'm, I can't just say it, but I can see why he admires you so much. 
You bring a lot to the table, and you're a very sweet person. And times when you're not so sweet, it's just as good as well. <laughs> Are you blushing? I'm sorry. Have I made this a little awkward for you? All right, just so long as it's not too awkward. Now, let's see. We have... I've went over my expectations with you. We've set our brunch date so I can help you one-on-one -on -one a little bit more. And I've told you some of our goals. Hmm. You can be very shy when you want to be, I've noticed. And with your trainer, he may be a little rough around the edges, but I trust that he's going to do everything in his power to make sure that you can do your job well. He may be a little firmer than some, and maybe not as tactful, but I think that you can really grow from this. But... If it ever does become too much for you, I need you to understand. Let me know, and I'll have it all fixed right then and there. No questions asked. All right? <laughs> well, that's one thing he had right. You do have a cute blush. I admire your determination. It's not very often we get a chance to hire somebody with a passion such as yours, so I look forward to working with you in the future, and I hope this is something that you can consider a career. Well, you can go ahead and leave out. I know you have a lot of work to do, but please, don't be a stranger to my office. It's a pleasure to meet you again. Take care now. Wait, so how did it go? What do you mean she had nothing bad to say? She didn't burn you off? Was I worried? Do I look like I was worried about you? <laughs> You're delusional. No, my cheeks aren't red. I, this tie is just on too tight. Well, your lipstick smudged. <laughs>